hey guys good morning we're getting ready for another video shoot today today's gonna be kind of um can't really mention what we're filming but it's pretty cool hi who's that lsts is that century can't read cx century maybe how much money was this um a lot but we're going to be selling it at Mecom Auction um, in May, around the 5 mil mark. Can you go up and touch it? Okay. Touchy, touchy. Oh, look at the paint job, though. I love this paint job. Can you see that? Touchy, touchy. Say I touched it. Can you see the paint job? It's so freaking bright. This is a custom paint. Yeah, it does drive. We're going to actually take it for a ride. Um, shortly, once the guests arrive. Not guests, but like the people that are filming. Show us the inside. I can't open it right now because it is cleaned and ready for filming. Is it yours? Maybe. Uh, thanks for sharing live, guys. How much is it? It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Um, but we are going to be in Indianapolis next month for the Mecham Auto Show or Mecham Auction or something like that. And also, too, I just want to say a quick shout out to Diablo Wheels who sponsored our tires and rims. Hi, Riley. My sister needs to see this shit. <laughs> we are in South Barrington off of Northwest Highway. Right now, getting ready for filming. We're waiting for the crew to get here. They're about 30 to 40 minutes late. Oh, are they coming? No, that's not them. Drive it. We will. We will. Maybe I'll go live when we drive it. Lamborghini pan a wagon. Fit two, three. Wait, what is it? There's two, three bushes in here and a deal. How fast does it go? It goes up to 100 miles an hour because it's a Chevy Silverado registered modified V8. How's it on roads? It looks big. It's about 42 feet long. So just imagine like uh, we actually used to own a limousine company and one of our Hummer limos that we owned was about the length of this. So my husband's used to driving something awkward and with no turning radius basically. Show, we will show the inside. I just can't do it right now because unfortunately it is ready for uh, filming and I don't want my my feet in the dirt to get in there. Ooh, this is a good shot. Look at Check out the paint over here. How heavy is it? Very heavy. I think it's like there's a video I posted on um, one of the TikToks that kind of talks about the weight the height and the length how fast does it go 100 miles an hour filming it's not a movie it's for a uh how can i explain it a car show with somebody that you guys will all know i can't give it away stupid privacy disclosures you gotta sign thank you how do you get it wait how did you get it? We made it. Thank you. It's nice. How much did it cost? It costs a lot because... Alright, so, breakdown. That's an actual jet. I think it's a fuselage. If I'm not mistaken, it's a fuselage jet that we purchased that's retired. When you purchase a retired jet, these are cars... or no, I'm sorry. These are planes and jets that can no longer be used. So we bought that from the graveyard, the jet graveyard or the plane graveyard, and then we converted it into a car by using the chassis of a Silverado, if I'm not mistaken. And the engine is under here. My husband is the mastermind behind all of this. And we had all of this specially made and modified by a custom shop up north I can't remember their name it's on our Facebook page but they made all the moldings they made all all of this so 
there was also a race car shop up north by Wisconsin that made the steering columns. I think that's what, yeah, steering columns. I'll go inside um, shortly. How tall is it? It's about 11 feet high. So we do go through um, bridges and tunnels with no issues. What does it sound like? I just posted a video recently about, uh, I mean, my husband actually revved the engine. So it was like, you'll see it on one of the videos. Go check it out. She don't know what she's talking about. I'm trying to do two things at once. How high is the wing? The wing, th that goes up to 11 feet. Does it drive good? Yeah, it does. It actually does drive pretty well. How much gas? Regular gas. But it's a V8, so you waste gas very quickly because of the weight of the vehicle. And then, um, yeah, Th it was an airplane. I will go inside shortly. How is it legal? It is street legal because it's considered a modified Chevy. What's the gas cost to fill it up? Like a regular pickup truck, because it has the Chevy Silverado engine in it and then the gas tank, which is underneath the car. So it's pretty much like a regular pickup truck. We don't drive around a lot, so it's just like for show or when we're filming. Why, where, you mean where are the wings? We shave them off so that it could be street legal. Sell it for 10, 10 million, we're hoping. Because at the auto auction, usually what they'll do is they'll start at a reserve and then they keep going up. We will test drive it. I'm just waiting for everybody to get here. My husband drives it because if we're not going straight, we're not going nowhere. <laughs> You, you think y'all could build me a race car, I'll pay. Um, we actually had people, we outsourced everything for this car. My husband is the mastermind behind this. So he's the one that had all the connections to the company that does all the race car um, stuff. So they did a lot of work. And then there's um, a car custom modification place up north too that they used. I'll go inside um, shortly. Why are we selling it? Time to move on to the next project. This is like, this is what we do. We ha take a project, make something of it, and then sell it. I'll go in shortly. I'm just waiting for them to get here so that I could go inside. Once they open it, then I'll uh, go in there because I don't want to be rude and have it all dirty because my husband will be like, oh my God, I just cleaned it. Yes, it's very hard to make turns. What happened to the limo jet account and name? Wait, what happens to the limo jet account and name and everything? Well, whoever purchases the limo jet is gonna take over. They are gonna get all of that. Why is it shaped? Because it's a, it is a plane. It's a retired fuselage. Um, I'm hoping we're hoping five mil. Two million is the reserve. This is an airplane, not a car, dude. <laughs> it is. If you look up, it's funny because when we were driving cross country and we had this on the trailer, we were at a gas station and a police um, woman actually pulled the plate and she was laughing because she's like, oh my God, this is actually registered as a modified Chevy. And so, yeah, it's legitimately registered as a mod modified Chevy. Why does it have wheels? <laughs> it used to fly. It's a retired fuselage. So there is a place in Florida that sells retired planes and jets. And when we first started, we bought two. We bought a Learjet and we bought a fuselage. So Learjet was a little bit smaller than this. And unfortunately, we couldn't use it. So... We use this one. Yes, it's street legal. No, it doesn't fly. It's a retired jet with no wings. Go. I will go in it soon. 
I will, once these people get here, they're, they're literally, like, not even ten minutes away, but they're taking forever. Go in it. I will. How much do you want for it? Reserve two million, hope at five. It's going to be at the Meekum auction in May in Indianapolis. I will show the inside soon. I'm waiting for them to get here. As soon as they get here, as soon as my husband gets here with uh, the crew, I'll open it. I don't want to be rude. Because he spent all this time cleaning it up. And he'll be like, oh my god, it's dirty. I'm trying to read all the comments because it's so bright out here. It used to fly. How much did the original jet cost? Um, the jet jet? Oh my god, that was like 10 or 11 years ago. I think the shell... And it doesn't run or do anything. Just like the shell of it. I think we got it for like 50000 for the shell. I think. But then we had to gut it out completely. Like, And then if you notice, we actually moved the door to the passenger side. Yo. Why y'all keep asking? I think they keep asking because some of them are just getting into the chat. So... I want to buy it. Buy it. Make them. Yeah, 50K. It's because you can't really do anything with a retired jet. Like, you could literally purchase a retired old jet and turn it into your house if you wanted to. But it's not going to move anywhere. And it won't have wheels. It will just literally be a stationary thing. Yours. Yes, it does actually drive. There's videos of it driving. It's okay. I got what you said. Rich is what I meant. No, we're not rich. Get in. I will shortly. I'm waiting for the crew to get here. Can you see in the windows? Not really because they're tinted. Let me see. It's so bright. Well, you can see the part of the front. You can't really see inside. Yeah, that's the limo jet on YouTube. I'll open it as soon as I get here. I can't do it right now. How fast is it? It goes up to 100 miles an hour. Yep, it's ours. Everyone else living in a school bus. I'm going to buy Dude, buy it and live in it. But the, whole, the only thing is that the height-wise, you'll be kind of crouched inside. It's good if you're um, short. How long did it take to build? Oh my lord. One day we'll write a book about it. Literally 10 to 11 years. Because we had so many shops that had this um, jet in their possession. That like when they were trying to make like, st like certain custom parts. Or trying to do the paint. Or trying to do the body work. So many things got messed up. And then... Yeah, it's, it's just, and funds too. Yeah, 10 to 11 years. Well, this is the only one in the world. And you have to realize that it took probably a big chunk of time to figure out where the engine of this, because we purchased the Silverado and we took apart the mechanisms of that and we put it in here. So that's what drives it, like a car. It used to fly. It's a retired jet. Your husband is taking too long. I know, right? Dude, like they're supposed to be. They were literally the people that are coming. You'll know them. I don't know if I'll be able to catch a glimpse of them when they get out of the car. But um, you'll know who they are or who he is. And my husband's a talker, so I'm sure... Like, he got out of the car and blah, 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 talking. How fast is it? It is... It goes about 100 miles an hour. Limo jet. Don't forget to follow us, please. Thank you. Like our videos. How much did it cost to make? I don't know. A lot. No, not diesel. Regular. It's a, it's a Chevy Silverado. 
engine. Street legal, yep. I'm trying to read. Show your face. I can't. I can't. I do have my own account. But it's not the Limo Jet account. This is just specifically for the Limo Jet. It's a, it's a car plane. It's a Limo Jet. I will go inside shortly. Ever been pulled over? Um, no. Because usually when we are going cross country, it's on a flatbed and we're hauling around and it comes out like when we're going to put it inside a show or inside a venue. We don't really drive it around because it's the only one in the world and if you go on our videos and see the one where we're at the gas station it literally takes us about 30 minutes when it's on a trailer to get out of the gas station so that like we can't it's, it's so hard your phone's gonna die because they keep taking so long i know right for real no thank god i charged my phone I will show the inside once they show up. Dude, hold on, let me, let me ask Royal. Text Johnny and see how far they are. Because everybody's asking like to go see the inside. And Frank will have a conniption if, if I go in there and it gets dirty. Dun, dun, dun. I will go inside soon. I want to say thank you for everybody for coming in. We were at one point, oh, 1,700 people. How is that real? It is. I'll go inside uh, shortly. Oh, thanks for the gift. Who oh, sent me a gift? Oh my gosh. If I don't touch the outside, you want to open it for me? Well, I'm going to have Arroyo open it. Because he's hey. still, just taking it for are you serious? Dude, the place is like right down the street. Bro, my husband just got there. Thank you for the gift. Han Solo, 2040. Thank you. Everybody go follow Han Solo, 2040. Okay, so I'm, make, I'm making um, my son's friend. He's also on our soccer team. And I'm making him do the dirty work because my husband's taking too long. So if I get in trouble, it's all your all fault. Arroyo, do the magic. We'll, we'll close it up. If he just got... Did he take the keys? Bruh. Oh, thank you for the gifts. Jay. Okay, so look. I'm not going inside inside. But here you go. Look, there's the dirty work. Yeah, I'm having the kid do the dirty work. <laughs> there is the driver's steering wheel. Keep an eye out for Frank and then we'll shut it. And then there are the TVs. I'm disappointed. And then there are the controls that control the, like, all the electrical, the TVs. And then the ceiling right here, that's the original ceiling. Okay, so that's, it has a cool effect. You're not going to be able to see the infinity floors right now, but that's, like, the coolest effect in here. Um, it's better when all the lights are on, to be honest. Let me light this real quick. It's, like, so... Hold on. There you go. No, it's not pink. It's red. Oh, so, okay, right here. The bar. The amps. Thank you, Jay, for all the gifts. The amps. The TV. The champagne. The ceiling. The custom seating. And then... We'll check that out carbon fiber can we see the outside all right we're gonna shut thank you kai spar 03 for all the gifts that's awesome thank you so we're gonna shut it now we're gonna go to the outside all right thank you for sharing the live video it's awesome thanks for i ever say thanks arroyo <laughs> can it fly sheesh my sheesh crew is back it's a limo jet all right so i'm going to 
shut this off for a little bit and charge again because we have a lot of filming to do and I want to get some footage but check out the paint one more time thank you guys for all the gifts how much for the plane we're asking uh, at Mecham it's going to be two million reserve but hopefully we get five Mecham in May I'll be live in a little bit once these guys get here so I'll talk to you all later